ain't wrong. Now come over here and give us a kiss. Okay, here we are at our parking spot by Rubleside Viaduct, looking magnificent. And this is the final part of our Yorkshire Three Peaks adventure. Not doing them as the challenge as such, doing them on a daily basis. But this is Wernside, folks. Hope you like it. See you out there. This circular walk over Wernside is the most popular route used by walkers, mainly due to the large free parking area near the Ribblehead Viaduct. A detailed route map can be found on the Go For A Walk webpage by just typing in map NY109 in the search section. Setting off from the Ribblehead car parking area, we made our way towards the viaduct, then onwards to the old viaduct workers' settlement of Blee Moor. Carrying on over Slack Hill, we walked to the waterfall on Force Gill, which was in full flow due to overnight rain. Tracking round west, turning south at Noutbury Hill, we pick up the Pennine Journey path to the wet and windy summit of Wernside. Our descent keeps us on the Pennine Journey path, eventually turning sharp northeast along the Dales High Way. After a few metres along this path, we arrive at Ivescar where we turn east and walk back to the viaduct and the Rubblehead car parking area. It is then a race back to Horton to retrieve my gaiters which I left there deliberately the day before so we could all consume more real ale today. This walk over Wernside was the third and final part of Day's personal challenge to complete the so-called Yorkshire Three Peaks after two failed attempts last year. He made a promise to you all on the Ingleborough video, so was a very happy bunny to have kept his word. Why does it always rain on me? Is it because I lied when I was 17? Doesn't take long to get within sight of the viaduct. A couple of trains have gone over already. Lots of navvies died building that. And there's a settlement in the area in a church with lots of unmarked graves where people lost their lives building it in very extreme temperatures. Sometimes brick laying in fear of being blown off of it. All preserved and maintained by a lot of enthusiasts back in the 80s who wanted to make sure all their hard efforts were not in vain. Why does it always rain on me? Is it because I lied when I was 17? Why does it always rain on me? Even when the sun is shining, I can't avoid the lightning. Superb, isn't it, David? I can't sleep tonight. Everybody's saying everything is alright. Still, I can't close my eyes. Please believe more where the settlement was that they all camped out at and then went on to build that wonderful viaduct. They all stayed here in basically Nissan huts, as I said earlier. Quite a few lost their lives building that. This is all listed. You can see a plaque we're coming up to. And you can see that plaque on here. As I say, made sure it was all preserved by enthusiasts and maintained up to this time. In honor of all those brave men who lost their lives. Just doesn't bear thinking about nowadays. 
the extremes that those guys worked in. Just amazing. Yeah, full of history this place, that's for sure. And the way it feels so bleak today, and this is probably a good day for them, gives you an understanding of what they went through. Amazing. Well, we had a wet old day for this walk, but we didn't care. We were out in the fresh air enjoying the wonderful scenery, marvelling at astounding Victorian engineering and getting a history lesson as a bonus. What a day. Waterfall coming into sight. Looking forward to seeing that in a minute. As we left the Four Skill Waterfall and started to make our way round to Noutbury Hill and the Pennine Journey Path, the wind and rain increased as the forecast had predicted, the temperature suddenly dropped and we were resigning ourselves to not getting any view on the summit. But the gain is a dramatic landscape that energises and stimulates. I call it the Owens Effect. Inside, looking menacing. Excellent atmospheric day today. Beautiful contrast to what we've 
had on previous days this week. It really is dramatic. It's so good to get different types of walking in, in different conditions. We're still able to see now and again the clag lifts to give us a view. And that's all you want really. Then provides you with this dramatic vista. All the peat hags. <sighs> I think you know how I feel about it. Wonderful. What a dramatic lands landscape, Dave, isn't it? Lovely. Re really refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to be in Clegg at the top, folks. Despite what you say, I will never hear you. Despite what you do, time will keep on rolling on. Even if you say our heart has been abandoned, time will never steal the longing from my hands. Hidden traces, empty faces. Can't see a thing today now, once we're up the top here, we're approaching the summit, very windy, lots of rain yesterday and obviously it's doing its best today as well, but uh, a really good day, everybody's in good spirits, we're cracking up now the final path to the summit, led by Nick Holmes showing us the way, great day. In the western skies angry clouds are on and blows across a faded memory In this heavy hour there is much confusion Never thought this path would open up for me Hidden traces, empty faces Distant stars are falling I keep holding on but the feeling's gone this is the last calling Hidden traces, empty faces Distant stars are falling I keep holding on, but the feeling's gone This is the last calling This is the last calling Everyone's taking a well-earned break, and well-earned it is. We've made it to uh, Wernside. That was a slog up there. Really good. Lovely shelter out the wind here. You can go either side, and today the wind is definitely coming <laughs> east to west. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's the trig pillar, all tagged and bagged. These guys here from Racky Platoon two Yorks doing their three peaks challenge. Real men turned up in t-shirts, we're all dressed to the hilts, they're in their t-shirts. Great bunch of guys. They've just done two of the Yorkshire peaks <laughs> in four and a half hours. Started at 7.30 and now you can see it's 12 o'clock, four and a half hours. We didn't think we'd see any three peakers today but we have and these guys, well yeah, tough as, tough as you like. Makes us load of old gits look rather stupid. <laughs> and off they go. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking fun! Road to hell! <laughs> <laughs>
real testing bit in this weather because all the slabs are wet so you've got to come down very gingerly if you want to avoid coming down and hurting your back but uh, obviously we, we just take it easy coming down here but we get down this isn't a race we get down Last drop down now, still windy. We've just had a rain shower that literally soaked the life out of us all. You can see the viaduct, which we're gonna go under in a moment. Well, I say in a moment, obviously we've got to get down first. We finally got our view, <laughs> albeit not the one we wanted. Everybody's gingerly coming down these stones because they're so wet. But I have to say, very impressive path. And according to Nick, they're still working on it to improve it further. And we've seen some slabs everywhere. And you can see a few more bags of stones here. I think they're doing a pretty good job. Very impressive. Compared to some of the lakes path, like that green up thing we came down the other day. I'll tell you, that was awful. This is very good. Very impressive, Wernside. Recommend it to any of you. Even... Yeah, Grandma. At the end of the day, we do have our 80-year-old going round with us, and he loved it. Quote, a doddle, he said. Onwards. So we now head back to there in the viaduct. Here we are back at the viaduct. 
what an impressive thing it is, 1875. What a wonderful thing. Just gonna have a look at the monument now. Made out to all the workers. What a fantastic piece of workmanship this is. Here we are back at the car. We can thoroughly recommend this one to you. What a great walk. Loads of people have done it, of course. We, we're certainly not the first. And uh, over 50,000 people a year normally go over it doing just the Three Peaks Challenge alone. So, very popular film. Sadly, today we didn't get our view we were hoping for, but nonetheless, a really good, enjoyable walk. Thanks for watching as always. And we'll see you at it. Well, I hope you enjoyed our claggy walk over Wernside. I know we enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like it. And we always enjoy reading your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want to find out more, don't forget we're available on Facebook at Fat Boys on Tour Walking Group. Check us out. That's Wernside. It's been a good one. I'm frozen. See you out there.